Good morning. Good morning. Blessings. Good blessings. Hey there. Good morning, good morning elect lady there on Periscope. Good morning to you, Periscope. Good morning to you, Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Morning Glory. I'm Talene Harris here with my husband, John F. Harris, and we are excited to be here with you all this morning. What a blessing. And an honor it always is to be in the presence of the Lord and in the company with family and believers who love the Lord. Amen. So we bless you this morning. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I am blessed. <laughs> Glory to God. Great morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Glory. Good morning to each of you. Thank you for being here. We are excited about the opportunity to worship with you again. It's a beautiful day that Abba Father's made. You know what we're going to do? We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good to see everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to each of you this morning. We are so, so, so blessed and so happy to be able to come on with you all and just share in the richness of God's presence with you. Thank you all for being here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's going to be a powerful time. We're looking forward in just a, in just a couple of hours. We'll be headed to Virginia for the Virginia Glory Carriers uh, Miracle and Prophetic Conference. We are excited about that. Glory to God. It's going to be phenomenal. If you can get there, get there, get there. It's starting in Hayes, Virginia with Apostle Lady Denson. That's in Hayes, Virginia. That's, uh, that's going to be Friday night. Friday night, July the 21st and the 22nd, 7 p.m. nightly at the Samuel Word of Freedom. That's going to be 10323 Marius Road in Hayes, Virginia. And then we will conclude on July the 23rd, that's Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m., hosted by Pastor Will Davenport with the Another Chance Church. That's 1401 North King Street in Hampton, Virginia. Come on in, everybody. Come on and let's have a great time. The power of God is going to be amazing. Uh, the prophetic is going to be amazing. God's going to move in extraordinary ways. I believe he wants to establish a, a, a new order. A new order in what he wants to manifest in this in this Kairos time, this Kairos time that we're in. So we're just excited to hear what God wants to speak and do and release in all of our lives as he manifests through us. Good morning, sweetheart. Thank you. My wife is with me this morning. I, I got a got an opportunity to uh, have her to share with me this morning so we can make sure that I won't be long, uh, long winded today because I have I'm going to make you not be yeah, You're going to make sure. <laughs> I'm going to tap you and say, okay, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we have to hit the, uh, get ready to travel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good morning, all of you that are on this morning. I uh, also want to announce this as well. Starting in the month of August, we will change the morning glory time to from 530 and move it, uh, move it back an hour to six o'clock, six o'clock. That's beginning in August. Okay. Uh, instead of 530, it will be six o'clock. Our life dynamics have changed, our routine and our schedules have changed drastically, so it's going to be uh, necess necessary for us to make those adjustments. So starting in August, the new time will be 6 o'clock, and of course, we'll have the proper announcements and advertisements for that as well. Okay, so just want you to be uh, notified of that. That's beginning, beginning August, next month. The new time will be 6 o'clock in the morning. Thank you all for accommodating. Thank you all, those that have been faithful for eight, almost eight years with the 530 time slot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Uh, because of our schedules, the demands that we now have, uh, we have to make these adjustments. So thank you all so much. We're excited again to be here with you all. Glory to God. Once again, good morning, Conference Live family. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Facebook Live. Good morning, Periscope. Good morning to you. We just want to pray this morning and just want to release the word of God that he wants us to share and speak today, and we're just going to do what God wants us to do. Is that all right? Hallelujah. First of all, we just declare right now that you're going to have a blessed day. We declare now in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, that this is going to be an awesome yes. day for you. We declare now that whatever tried to come against your mind, come against your body, come against your emotions, come against your physical uh, abilities, we declare that those assignments have been canceled in the name of the Most High yes. God, in the name of Jesus, yes, that has God. been canceled. 
We declare right now, good morning, everybody. Great morning to you. We declare that what Father has established and what he has ordained, we declare that his purposes and his plans shall be established and they shall go forth. Yes. I speak that and I decree that in your lives you, right God. now. Thank to you, each Lord. person that's coming on, I declare that what Father has begun in you, he will finish in you. Yes. I declare that what has been started is already completed because God never starts nothing except he first completes it. He declares the end from the beginning. Yes. So I decree that and I declare that. Thank you. As I'm speaking now, I declare and decree supernatural strength yes. in your you. body. I decree supernatural strength in your mind. Yes. I declare supernatural strength in every area that pertains to what you are supposed to accomplish purpose of God. Yes. I decree that and I declare that right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, thank Father, you Father, that the anointing of the Holy Ghost fills this atmosphere yes, right now. God. And we thank worship you. you for the burden removing power of God. Yes, so God. what you have ordained your people to do, it shall be done. Thank you, we God. thank you for supernatural strength. You strengthen yes, us with Lord, might right now, by your spirit in the inner thank man. Thank you. So, Abba Father, we thank you that your people are well able. Yes. We worship you that we're not going under, but we're going over. We're above only and not beneath. In the name of Jesus, yes. we thank you and we bless you, Father God, right now. Hallelujah. Blessings to all of the ministers and bishops and apostles that are coming on. I speak strength to you. You know what? I believe that God wants us to just begin to establish and declare strength for the journey. Yes. Strength to finish. Strength to complete complete the task. Strength to do all that he's giving us to do. Yes, Hallelujah. God. We declare that right now that God gives you supernatural yes, strength. Strength you. to finish. Glory to God. Strength in your emotions. Strength in your mind. Strength in and around you. May, may even your support system be strengthened. Sometimes we have support systems around us and they need, need to be prayed for as well. Yes, I pray for the support God. base. I pray for the intercessors. I pray for the Shamar prophets. The yes. watch on the wall. I pray for those that are assigned to be like Herod and her that holds up the hands of the leaders, the arms yes. of the leaders. I pray yes. strength for you now in the name of Jesus. I speak strength. We just declare strength in this atmosphere. We are going over and not under. We thank you that any any plot of a setback, any scheme of a setback yes. or even a setup, an enticement, a device, a wow that was sent out against yes. us to block and sabotage we cancel that assignment in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. We say it's done right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We declare that it's done right now. We speak supernatural strength. So we just give God some praise this morning and bless his name. Great morning again. Good morning, everybody that's coming on in. We praise you, Father God, for strength this morning. We thank you for your strength this morning. You know what? I believe that as you're listening right now, Periscope, Facebook Live, and Conference Line family, that the Spirit of God is strengthening you right now. Lift up your hands and receive the strength of God. Lift up your hands and receive the energy of the Holy Ghost. Re yes, receive God. it right now. Receive Thank the you, fire, the Hallelujah. fervor. Receive it in your spirit. Yes, Thank you, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory oh, we worship God. your Thank name. You, we come against fatigue. Yes. We come against weariness. Glory. We come against tired, tiredness. Thank we you, come God. against even a very thought of, I don't have enough to finish the course. Yes. I cancel that even that thought. I uproot that seed out yes. of your mind Jesus. in the name of Yeshua. Every fault that she won't finish. Yes. We cancel that assignment right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for finishing grace. Oh, yes. The grace to complete the assignment. The grace to finish this morning. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to yes. God. I feel the power of God here Glory just surging you, through God. your body, Glory surging you, through my thank body. You, thank you, God. I wasn't going to start here, but I'm going to just going to going to read this in the, into our hearing this morning. I believe it's in Ephesians. Yes. Thank Ephesians, you, the book of Ephesians <clears throat> is where I want to look for just a, a brief moment. Ephesians chapter one, hallelujah, glory to God. Ephesians chapter, uh, chapter number one. And I want to, I want to look at, I want to look at actually, uh, verse number 11 in whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. 
everything is working after the counsel of his own will. Oh, so you know that. what we, we, we say right now, Facebook and Periscope and Comfort Line family, Father, I thank you that I'm in your will. Yes. I worship you that we're in your will. Yes, we are right God. here in the will of God. What's so powerful, dear heart, about being in the will of God is that when you're in God's will, mm -hmm. he, he, he bows, he inclines himself to us. Yes. He, he Everything that is at his disposal, watch this, you all, everything at his disposal, he releases it to us to make sure that we're healthy, to make sure that we're whole, to make sure that we complete the task, to make sure that we have enough resources, to make sure that we have enough strength, to make sure that we have protection. Yes. He gives us guidance. He gives us wisdom. He gives us counsel. He gives understanding. If we need deliverance, those that need deliverance, he said, many of the afflictions of the right but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Hallelujah. Whatever is needed, Father says, I'm inclined to it. I'll say yes to my will. If yes. you're in my will, thank you, God. So the Bible says here that to whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him yes. who worketh all things after the counsel of his will, oh, that we God. should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in the anointed one and it's anointing the Hamashiach Christ. Hallelujah. I prophesy and I declare right now, even this is just a little, little tidbit before we get started, that God says, I'm giving you strength. You have guidance. You have protection. You have deliverance. So in the will of God, as you said, Father, thank you that I'm in your will. And if you're not in the will, go ahead and repent and get in this will. Yes. Because as you're in this will, whatever you need, it's in this atmosphere right now. See, Father's establish this 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 feeding area this this place of of gathering mm. this place of 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 drinking the still waters hallelujah the place we can come and and begin to drink as the the bible says the deer panted for the water brook so does my soul pant after the field god the deer goes after the water brook not only to satisfy thirst but yes. also the deer goes into the water to cover the scent the scent mm. of flesh because anything that's pursuing it it can hide himself around the water brook. Glory to God. I prophesy now that Father said, as you in your will, my will, that everything that you need is done in the name of Jesus. I just feel an anointing in this atmosphere right now, brothers and sisters. The Father says, you can go ahead and receive supernatural strength, receive restoration, receive restored joy, receive re renewed uh, vitality, the zest, the fire, the termination is restored right now Thank in God. the name of Thank Jesus. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. I think I can stop right now because it's done. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. It's done, you all. He's restoring us. So listen, go ahead and complete that assignment. God said, I'm giving you energy. Mute everybody. I'm giving you energy for the, for the task. I'm giving you energy for what you have been assigned to do in this season. Strength. Not only that, but in the will of God. This just dropped in my spirit. You go, Father said. Father says, let me, allow me to guide you. Allow me to direct you. Allow me to lead you. Just surrender to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just surrender. Just surrender to me because it's already done. Just surrender to me because it's already finished. I never tell you to do anything that I have not already completed. I do not, I never start anything unless I express my Omega nature. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning beginning and he's what the, the, end. the end so God never tells you to begin something unless he's gone ahead of you to make sure that it's finished he's the author and the what finisher of our faith so we can hallelujah who the joy that was set before him he endured for us he already endured everything that we would have to endure so dearly beloved you can finish because it's already done you can complete because it's already done you can go ahead and say father I thank you for the consummation and the, the finished product of what you began in my life it is already complete yes. glory to God thank you Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to your name. Go ahead and dive God in. God is so awesome. You know, as Apostle is just sharing, it just makes me think about as he was saying how God has already gone before us and finished those oh, things. Yes that we know that we have to complete at some point in time. We were flipping through the channels last night um, 
as we fell asleep <laughs> on everything. And uh, that I don't know if you all have ever seen that movie with Adam Sandler called Click. And it's about a man who's living his life with his family and everything. And he has access to this remote control of life that allows him to fast forward, to stop something, to rewind something. And I said, man, I would love to have one of those, honey, because there's some parts I would love to fast forward through. <laughs> <laughs> but I think about that and I say, you know what? God wants us to wants us to go through all of the process. You can't just hit a, a button and fast forward yourself through your situation. You have to actually experience it because one of the things in the movie that I remember was every time he pushed that fast forward button, he didn't remember anything that happened during that fast forward season. And so God wants us to experience everything because those experiences are what molds us and shapes us into the people that we are. So he missed some things along the way because he kept hitting that button. <laughs> we kept stopping it and doing all kinds of stuff. If you haven't watched that movie, watch it because there's a lot of things in there that actually might spark your attention prophetically that God might be speaking to you and saying, listen, don't try to hurry through something. Don't try to rush through something. Go through the process. Enjoy the process. Or at least get to the point where you are, uh, where you're satisfied that God is taking you. And through that process, at the end, is where the blessing is. At the end is where you're going to see your miracle. At the end is where you're going to be able to say, God, you know what? I am so glad that I did not abort the mission, that I did not abort the assignment, that I did not abort the process, that you are, you have allowed me to overcome everything. You've given me the power. You've given me the strength. You've given me the courage. You've given me the tenacity. You've given me the, the, the know-how and the knowledge yes. and the wisdom and the understanding. You've given me everything that I need to live this life for of godliness, of, of, of being a woman of God, a man of God, a person of value, a person of worth, a person that has standards, a person that realizes who they are yes. and are going after and attaining the things that you have set before me. I can't faint. I can't fall. Hallelujah. I can't I can't do any of those things, God, because you have girded me Thank up. You, you have God. strengthened me up. You have allowed me to be able to be strong enough to finish the race and to see it to the end. Absolutely. Speak Holy Spirit. That's right because we all need encouragement. I'm encouraging myself this morning. Hallelujah. Encourage yourself. Yeah, encourage yourself. Encourage Hallelujah. Yourself. Because it is Amen. important sometimes. We all need that. We all find ourselves in places where we might be a little sluggish. We might be a little a little tired, a little fatigued, as Apostle says. So I thank God for the prayer this morning. I thank God for the prayer because the prayer is what gives us the strength. Yes. The prayer is what gives us the strength. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. The word mm -hmm. is what gives us the strength. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to God. Encouraging somebody else is what gives us the strength. Oh, yes. We need yeah. that in order to finish the race yes. this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and throughout our lives. So encourage yourself. And be an encouragement to someone Thank else you, because God. it encourages you. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what just hit my spirit, you all? I want to come against every force, every plot of the enemy that want to challenge the fact and the reality and most importantly, the truth that God has equipped you mm. for what you've been called to do. I want to come against every lying wonder, yes. every lying spirit that would challenge the, the truth that the Most High God has equipped you for what you have been called to do mm -hmm. in the earth. Can I? We're going to cancel those assignments yeah. because I felt that earlier to this morning and I felt the real strong hit in my spirit. The Father just gave me some more to that. He said, I want you to not only tell the people that they have been equipped for this hour mm -hmm. and equipped for this time, but he said, I want you to tell them that I'm going to come against every lying spirit that oh, will God. lie to them and tell them that they are not equipped, that they can't do 
do what I've called them to do. We come against that lion force. My God, Thank I feel the anointing. God. In the name of Jesus, we come against every lion yes. tongue. We come against every whispering tongue. Jesus. We come against every negative word curse spoken over your destiny. Jesus. And we say that you are equipped and you're well equipped to do what the Most High God yes. has called you to do in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We come against that assignment now. So Father has yes, equipped God. you and he's equipped you well. He who has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Yes. So we prophesy, we declare now that every lying spirit that says you can't do it, you can't go, you don't have enough, you're not educated enough, you're not articulate enough, you're not well spoken enough. We come against those forces that will lie to you and tell you that you're not equipped. We come against that and cancel that assignment in Yeshua's mighty name. Thank you, God. Thank Thank you, God. And even the, the even the corresponding effects of that, we cancel those as well. We cancel those also. The corresponding effects that say, see, you're not strong enough. See, your body is weak. See, you didn't know this. See, this happened to you. Yes. See, this manifested in your life. See, this happened right at the wrong time. You was about to advance. See, you were not equipped. We come against every corresponding action of that lion spirit yes. to try to confirm in your mind and get you to come into agreement with the lie and be damned instead of walking in the truth of what God's word has said over Jesus. your life his word will not return to yes, him void God. so we prophesy now that what God has started he will finish and you're well able he's able and you're able to do what yes. he's called you to do yes. because in him you move in him you live and in him you have your existence yes. your yes. being so we prophesy now that you are equipped so with the equipping and with the truth of God, we thank you the Father is still injecting yes. power. He's releasing strength. There's an anointing here that destroys the yoke right now. God. Thank you, Almighty God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, God. He says, Son, cancel every cancel the spirit that spoke to the people and said they're not equipped to do yes. what I call them to do. I'm going to read a little bit more in Ephesians because Ephesians is speaking this morning. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. I believe I want to read in the book of Ephesians chapter number three. Thank you, Father. Chapter number three. I believe, I believe, I believe chapter number three and verse number and verse number 13. Wherefore, I desire that you faint not. Wherefore, I desire that you faint not at my tribulations, which is for your glory, which is your glory, brother. And that and for this cause, I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might and by his spirit in the inner man. I'm going to read that again because it's power in the word of whom the whole family of heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. Thank not the God. riches of anyone else's glory. Not the riches of the president's glory, the governor's glory, the mayor's glory, the apostle's glory, the prophet's glory, but the riches of his glory. Yes. From his glory, Father says, I'm going to pour from my glory and I'm going to strengthen you. How Hallelujah, that he might strengthen you with might by his spirit in your inner man. So when Father speaks his word, it goes into the inner man. So the glory of God, I declare, it goes in the inner man. You know what my grandmother used to sing in the old saints used to sing? Something on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I prophesy now that the power of the glory of God is working in the inner man, and you will See, even right now, I'm not talking about in an hour or so. I'm not talking about in a few moments. I declare right now in this atmosphere that change has taken yes. place for many of you. Hallelujah. If you have sensed the Spirit of God for, for those that this is for, if you sense the Spirit of God, move upon your heart already, move upon your body already, move upon your spirit already. And Father's brought restoration, He's brought renewal, He's brought energy. You feel strength. I can't have a shot. 
I feel the anointing here. Yes, you feel Lord. strength. Go ahead and type amen. Periscope or conference line or if you or, or Facebook Live. Conference line, you can just shout amen. Hallelujah. Periscope, type amen. Those on Facebook Live, type amen. Because the spirit of the living God is here and moving now. So God says, listen, you have been equipped to do what you have been called to do. You are well equipped. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to just sit here and marinate on this. I don't have my contact lenses on and I can't see out these glasses either. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Just gonna... amen, baby. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. I praise you, Father God. You yes. are so good. So Father is equipping and yes. he's saying, listen, I'm going to break the very back of of weakness and fatigue there's an anointing for weakness and or, or fatigue and weariness and tiredness yes. and sluggishness and and lethargy the lack of energy losing my drive losing my the zeal losing the fire losing yes. the tenacity the power of God restores us now glory in the God. name of the Jesus name of hallelujah glory to your name father I think I'm gonna just put a praise right here hey. and just bless this name. Glory. Glory to your name. God, you are good all the time. All the time you are great and greater to be praised. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. And as apostle was ministering, the Lord began to say to me, have them to remind themselves that the battle and the struggle oftentimes is in your mind. Mm. That's where the enemy tries to come in and tell you you can't do something. It starts there. So we have to renew our mind as the word of God says. Every, I mean, some people might say you got to do it every day, but you might have to do it every minute, every second, because thoughts are bombarding oh, your yes. mind and they're, they're trying to tell you you're inadequate. You can't do it. All of those things that are contrary to what the word of God is saying and to what we're, we're sharing this morning. Mm. So just remember that the battle is in your mind and that's the first place of defense that you have to make sure is girded up in your mind and then work on that heart. Amen. Glory to God because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When your mouth starts speaking, Hallelujah. oh my God, it's exactly whatever is in your heart. So you have to make sure that you guard your heart, that you make sure that, that the Lord is, is working with the things that you need healing and deliverance on because when your mouth begins to open and you start speaking some things understand that you're declaring that over your life understand that you're saying those things and it's coming from your heart and you're really really in that place at that moment ask god god i need you to cleanse my heart i need you to renew my heart i need you to restore my heart god i need you to mend my heart whatever it is god is a heart fixer he's a regulator Whatever it is that you need as apostle was sharing in the word, it's all there. Yes. It's all there. Whatever you need to get in, whatever you need to, to reach in and grab. I used to always say on my show, it open up your toolbox. Whatever you got in your toolbox, that's what you need to leave. So you need you need to, to utilize. So make sure that whatever it is that you might need to go back and, and that that reserve is there. If you need some strength, you need to be able to open that toolbox of, of the word or open the toolbox of prayer or whatever it is, that tool that you need to pull out at that moment and say, God, I thank you. I thank you, God, that I have this resource. Maybe it's a prayer partner. You need to call somebody and say, sis or bro, I need you to pray with me. Amen. We're supposed to be bearing one another's burdens. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if you bring in something to me, I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Because I, <laughs> because we all need to be light in the spirit. Amen. So that we can do what it is that God has called and purpose us to do. It is so important. Make sure that you are looking at those two things. Your mind and your thought pattern and your heart. Because those two things are what's regulating this, mm. this body. Amen. Oftentimes, as, and I'm talking in the natural. Now, spiritually, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is supposed to be operating everything. Holy Spirit is supposed to be the lead, the teacher, and the God. Thank but God. we as humans, we are still humans. We have to be, we have to have this body in order to allow our spirit to inhabit and walk on this earth. Amen. Hallelujah. So because of that, we still have to watch and guard and protect what it is that God has given us in, in our bodies. Amen. So Glory that our spirit God. can be protected. 
and we can do what it is God has purposed us to do. Amen. That's Hallelujah. right. Be a light. Be a light. That's right. We have to have the light. We have to have the light of Christ on the inside of us. Amen. We have to we have to shine that light in this dark world. We got to be a beacon so that if if your beacon isn't isn't, you know, how they do that, the kind of intermittent light that goes in and out, in and out. Uh, even when planes are landing in and out because that helps you to see that helps you to be guided in be that we have to be that beacon of light for those that are lost in the world if that we might be the only Christ they see we might be the only God that they ever encounter so we have to make sure that we're we're on point and ready to be able to help and lead and guide someone back to the Lord and make sure that we don't don't mess up our witness. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know what? I'm, I'm blessed this morning. I'm blessed to be here uh, with you all again. And I'm so excited about what Spirit of the Lord is speaking today. And again, it keeps coming back up in my spirit to tell my people that they're equipped. Yeah. And think it not strange where, where Father's about to send many of you. Think it not strange where you are about to go. Because sometimes we second guess ourselves way too much. We don't. We don't put. Uh, it's, it's not that sometimes, and it's. I don't even want to use the word false humility because it's not for many of, of us. It's not necessarily false humility. It's a fact of the matter that we've gone through so much hell. We've gone through so much abandonment, so much rejection. We've gone through so many, so many storms, uh, so many of the trials and vicissitudes of life, the economies of life and things happening left and right and everywhere. But sometimes we begin to doubt and, and wonder if I can if I can do all that I haven't had envisioned at one time to do. We second guess ourselves. Hallelujah. But one thing I know about God, Father loves to take the foolish what what the world considers foolish to confound the wise. He loves to take the weak things of this world to confound the strong. And he uses the things that people say, this won't be anything. Mm -hmm. This is nothing. He takes the things that are nothing, what looks yes. like the nothing to cause the coming to manifestation, the, the things that are, so that no flesh will glory in his presence. So I want to just share with you again that you are well equipped. I'm going to read, continue to read Ephesians 3 Amen. in just a second, but you are well equipped sweethearts you're well equipped Amen. you on periscope you are well equipped you all you are very well equipped by god you on facebook live you are well equipped comfort line family you are well equipped yes. you have been equipped to do extraordinary things so don't allow don't allow an ordinary thing to pull you from an extraordinary experience mm, that's good you don't want to allow an ordinary thing to pull you from an extraordinary encounter that yes. God is trying to give you because you are too equipped to be whipped. You're too anointed to be mm. disappointed. You're too blessed to be stressed, okay? So don't allow an, or an ordinary thing that wants to rise up in your life to pull you from an extraordinary manifestation because you are equipped by God. Yes. I want to continue to read. The Bible says, and uh, I'll, I'll pick up in 16 again, Ephesians 3, 16, that, uh, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory mm -hmm. to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. 17, that the Mashiach, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that he would be, or that you being rooted and grounded, rooted and grounded in love. Hallelujah. Being able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, and the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ. You all, what is what does it boil down to? The common denominator, the very foundation and the core of our existence is to know the love, the love of God, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. I'm excited today because Father wants us to know, listen, I love you with an everlasting love. So, mm, thank you, God. Can I, share, can I share something, a little tidbit about something I had to learn in ministry over the past 32 years? I had to learn that sometimes I would get too far ahead of God. And sometimes I would go too slow because sometimes, you know, if the enemy can't get you to slow down and be in rebellion, he'll get you to speed up and be in rebellion. So he tries <laughs> to work in one of those two dynamics. If That's I can't true. get you to stop, then and they'll try to get you to go so fast. So yes. either way, you're still in rebellion. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, God. So Father says, I want you to understand that I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. So it's not about what you do yourself. It's not about what you can muster up and manage to do yourself. It's about what you allow me to do through you. So sometimes in my zeal, my zeal, I would go off ahead of God because I'm thinking, I got I to gotta get this done. I got to do for God. I got to do for God. I got to do for God. When Father's saying, what about me? Are you going to let me to do? Uh, where, where am I in the picture? Where am I in the program? Because those that are too go too far to the right, they run off and leave God. And those too far to the left, they lag behind and they're still in a place of rebellion. The Bible says, be not like the horse nor the mule, but put your eyes straight on him. Can we just put our eyes on him and say, Father, you got this. You, yeah. You're doing this in my life. You're moving. I'm equipped in you. Sometimes sometimes those thoughts come in our minds that suggest to us that you're not adequate enough. You don't, you don't pray hard enough. You, you don't preach like the other person preaches. So can I just share with you that you're not supposed to? Is that all right? You don't have to. You don't need to. You don't sing like the other person to sing. May I submit to you that Father, when he made you, he's not trying to hear somebody else. He's trying to hear you. When he wants to hear them, he listen to them. But He, we're fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. So be who God's called you to be because you are well equipped. Thank yeah. you, God. And then the Bible says, now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that's at work in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. 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 He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think why, where, how, and when, according to the power that's at work within you. Amen. I have learned, brothers and sisters, to trust in the power of yes. Just trust it. In the power of God. Can I also share one last tidbit with you? Is that when you feel like you're the most inadequate, when you feel like you're at your weakest moment, God is his strongest in you. You know that? When you feel like you're, 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 you're at your most weakest, vulnerable time, God is, God is going to show up in the strongest way. Can I just yeah. declare that? Can you all receive yes. that? Can anybody can attest to that? Yeah. Father, I don't, because cause last month was the month of June. We had an entire month of prayer. We prayed for the entire month of June. And you know, spiritually, I felt built up. And I'm like, I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. I can still do that. But you know what? In this month, I've had this happen, this happen, this going on, this happening. I was talking to my wife. Stuff is happening on every side. And I haven't had the time that I wanted to spend in prayer. I want to spend more time in prayer. Hallelujah. But God said, do you not understand that it's about your surrender? That's why you have to learn how to say, Father, I put my trust in you. Glory to God. So God said, it's not you in a way. Because brothers and sisters, sometimes we can put more confidence in our own selves than we do in the most high God. Anybody out there can agree with that. Thank yeah, you, God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So let me finish reading here. And I'm done. I want to read Ephesians 4 and 11. Ephesians 4 and 11. And then we're going to be, uh, we're going to be finished today. Ephesians 4 and verse number 10. I'll start at verse number, verse number 8 actually. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men. You have a gift that God has given you. He gave mm -hmm. gifts unto men. Now that he... Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? But he that descended is the same that ascended up above all heavens, that he might feel all things. First number 11 says that he gave some apostles and some prophets and some pastors and, or evangelists and some pastors and, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I declare and decree that you and I are perfected Amen. for this set time and season. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we declare that brothers and sisters, you are equipped today. Final words, sweetheart. Amen. I am just, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the testimonials that will come forth. And I see some of your, uh, some of your, your testimonies as they are, are coming up on the screen. Listen, 
Yes, whatever it is that you're going through right now, it might seem like it's it's just piled all on top of you. But I promise you, if you go through the process and you allow God to, to take you through it at the end is the promise. Oh, Amen. Yes. At the end is the promise. So be encouraged, be inspired, be empowered. Do what it is that you know you're supposed to do. Don't let anybody else tell you anything different. Whatever God has spoken over your life, believe that over all of those other things and operate and function in that. Amen. As the apostle has given word after word after word in Ephesians, maybe you need to go back and read it again to continue to strengthen yourself uh, or listen to this rebroadcast again to continue to give yourself strength. Amen. Sometimes we have to draw from the well of strength of others and, and the strength of the word and strength of God. Amen. And once you do that, then you will be on fire again. So get catch a fire. Hallelujah. Fire. Glory to God. <laughs> hey, you all, we love you so much. We have to go. Can we ask that you all pray for us, for yes. those that love us? Can you can you pray with us as we uh, prepare to travel? We believe that God wants to move Uh, There's been hindrances and all types of things happening uh, this week. And when those things occur, we just know that God, you up to something awesome. So can you all just agree and pray with us as we uh, prepare for this Virginia Glory Carriers Conference and also pray uh, for Pastor uh, Pastor Will Davenport and also Apostle Lady Denson as well. We believe that Father wants to do something awesome in Virginia. We believe miracles and healing and deliverance. We believe that Father is going to literally set an order, uh, set an order and release such a word that is going to establish an order, a precedence, establish something new that has never been done before in that region. Not necessarily that it's something new introduced to the plan and the economy of God, but something that has not ever been released in that region. I believe that Father wants to release a word and a sound in our hearts and lives, something that's establishing a new yes. precedence, amen, so that we can begin to build and grow there. Thank you all so much. Listen, if we've been a blessing to you, consider being a blessing by thank you for supporting this work and supporting this ministry. The ministry website is www.johnfharrisministries.org. Thank you for sowing today. Thank you for supporting today. Thank you for doing that. Also, P.O. Box 50677, Atlanta, Georgia, 30302. Once again, that's www.johnfharrisministries.org. Uh, you can go right there and support this work right there on your website or P.O. Box 50677, Atlanta, Georgia, 30302. Tonight, we will have Bible study. Bible study will be going forth on the conference line only. It will be on the conference line only. There will be Bible study. Spirit of Glory Bible study will be going forth, and you are welcome to be a part. If you're watching, uh, it will be going forth. The conference line number is 741 I think no six four one. Excuse me, seven one five three six zero five six four one seven one five three six zero five. Access code is nine one two four one four pound. That's eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when our Bible study will be tonight. You don't want to miss it. Thank you. We will have service Saturday morning as well. Saturday service will be going forth. Uh, our Spirit of Glory Worship Center will be going forth on Saturday at 12 noon. Come out if you're in the Atlanta area and you're not in Virginia, come to Spirit of Glory Worship Center. Apostle Osborne and Pastor Tiffany Giles are going to be ministering. It's going to be phenomenal. The power of God is going to be amazing. We have a guest psalmist that's going to yeah. be ministering praise and worship. Pardon me? Yeah, so I wish I was going to be there. Oh, you don't want to miss it. Come on out. Don't don't stay home. Come yes. out to Spirit of Glory Worship Center. We have made provisions so that ministry will still go on and the people will be well fed even in our absence. Yes. Hallelujah. But if you are in Virginia or you are in surrounding areas, we look forward to also seeing you at the Glory Carriers uh, Prophetic and Miracle Conference, July the 21st. That's tomorrow night, beginning tomorrow mm-hmm. night, 21st through the 23rd. Uh, 21st and the 22nd is going to be at the Samuel Word of Freedom. Samuel Word of Freedom, that's 1023 uh, Marius. 
Marius Road, is that mm -hmm. right? That's 10323, right. excuse me. 10323 Marius Road in Hayes, Virginia. That's July the 21st, 22nd, 7 o'clock p.m. July the 23rd at 8 o'clock in the morning, which is Sunday morning, we'll be at the Another Chance Church with Pastor Will Davenport. That's 1401, 1401 North King, King Street. Street in Hampton, Virginia. Look forward to seeing each of you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. We'll be back uh, next week, everybody. We'll be back here next week. And we love you all so very much. You all be blessed, prosper, rise up, go forth, manifest, and conquer in the name of the Most High God. We love you so much. And what? There's nothing you can do about it. Have a blessed everybody. Blessings to you.